Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see the complete environment of R Studio, the work environment of R Studio. So we know that R Studio is used to write and implement the R programs. So in our previous session, we have discussed about how to download and install the R Studio. So mainly we need to install the two things in order to run the complete R programs. So one is the R Studio and the R. Right. So now I'll click on this R Studio. So the R Studio homepage will be displayed here, and you can see the four partitions here. So one, two, three, and four. So this partition, this partition is called the source partition. So where we have to write the instructions. That means we have to write the programs. So that's why we call it as a source partition. And bottom to the source, we are having the console. So this is used for displaying the output. So that's why we can call it as an output console. So whatever the programs we are writing in the source partition, that will be executed and the complete output will be displayed in this partition. And coming to this one, so this is nothing but uh, uh, environment. So that means whatever the inputs we are taking into the program, those inputs will be displayed here. So you can see import data set. So data set is also some sort of input we can take to the program. So whatever the inputs we are taking, everything can be displayed here. Right. And the last one, this is a files plots. That means if our instructions written in the source partition having the plots to visualize the data, that type of visualizations will be done here. That means the graphs will be displayed in this partition. So the text will be displayed in this console and the graphs will be displayed in this partition. Right. So we can also customize these partitions. So you can go to the view panes and you can see the pane layout. Click on pane layout. You can see four partitions. First one is a source console environment files and you can customize here so whatever the things you need here you can simply uh, uh, tick the checkbox and just apply so here you can see in this environment history connections tutorial environment history connections tutorial so build and uh, this uh, vcs are also available right so here you can see i'll take out the tutorial and apply you can observe there is no tutorial here so like that you can simply uh, apply the customization and also you can add a column so you can see source column if you apply uh, one more pen will be ap applicable here right so you can see five five panes so five partitions and you can also remove the pen right now we'll see the source pen for example let us take one variable. So we, in our previous sessions, we have seen how can we assign a value to the variable. So one is by using a normal assignment operator. I'll take some a is equal to 10 and I'll print this a and see this can be executed in two different ways. See here you can having the option. So this is a thing we are uh, we have written here. So run. So this is this this uh, option will execute the only statement where the cursor has been blinked, right? So for example, if the cursor is here, so I'll write one more uh, statement. B is equal to twenty, and C I'll write here B is. Now C. If I if the cursor is in this third line, if you click on this run, you can observe that line will only be get executed. B is equal to 10. Immediately the cursor will move on to the next line. You can observe here. And if you again, if you click on run, that will be executed. So even though our program is having some four lines of code, so if I select the cursor in the third line and if I run it, only that particular line will be executed. So line by line execution can be done with this particular option run. And if you want to uh, repeat the same set of execution one more time, so you can go with the next option. See, uh, you can observe the tooltip rerun the previous code region. So if I click on this one again, the same 
will be get executed see the same thing will be executed so whatever the thing we are executing previously that will be executed and here one more option here see source so if you here we can execute in two different ways one is the source one is source with echo so coming to the source everything will be get executed see you can observe complete program will be get executed and if you click on this source with echo so the program will be executed at the same time see the complete instructions will also be displayed here so here you can see uh, one brush symbol which can clear the console so in order to uh, avoid the confusions i'll clear it so just click on this one so everything will be get cleared i'll execute the source just a source so you'll get only 10 and 20 because we are printing only a and b here and if the same program if i execute source with echo you can observe say a is equal to 10 print a output b is equal to 20 print b output so every line by line execution including the instruction will be displayed on the console and obviously you can observe here a and b values here so these are the two inputs we have we have given in program so those two values have been reflected in this environment pane because a, here you can observe a and b are the inputs given and see you can observe a is a numeric and b is a numeric a is having some 10 and b is having some 20 and again if you go with a is equal to 100 and if you execute a run you can see the value of a has been updated to 100 here so whatever the inputs we are giving to the source program that will be reflected in this environment and why if, if our program is having some plots so just for an example i am giving so plot 100 comma 200 so if i put the cursor in the line 6 and place run you can observe the plot the visualization will be displayed in this page right so the, the graphs will not be displayed in this console the graphs will be displayed in this plots region right and every console or every partition you can find the brush icon so if you click on this one it will clear everything see it will clear and here also it will clear so if you are having any confusion so you can simply clear the complete previous outputs or variables inputs and again you can simply click so uh, execute so that everything will be displayed here and also history so whatever the executions we are we have done everything can be displayed in this particular history right and also we have seen some rightward and leftward assignments so that also we can give some a and see is equal to uh, I, I'll remove everything some a so in the environment also I'll clear the complete history and here also I'll clear the console I'll clear so now you can see 30 oh sorry 20 print a so that means 20 is a value which can be stored into a and now if I click on run only one line will be get executed because this run is for current line so you can observe run the current line or a selection and if you select the multiple lines and click on run both will be get executed so you can see right similarly if i go with the we can also assign in this way some b print b and if i want to execute these two lines select this one and click on run so that will be get executed and you can observe here so the values are displayed in this particular environment pane right so this is how we can uh, use the r studio ide to write and implement the instructions in r language right so after that we can save the file so click on save so the extension of r programming is dot r right so you can give sim simply sample dot r so you can see by default save save as type dot r so save so on desktop you can find this sample dot r file right so this is how we the environment will be looked and uh, 
in our further sessions we will go one by one and we will learn a different concepts of our language and we will try to uh, execute more number of programs and we will visualize the data right so hope you understood and if you are having any doubts or if you are uh, if you are feeling any difficulty to work in this environment feel free to post your doubts in the comment section uh, i'll definitely try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much